Mixed freights. Oh, look at that. If you ask me, I think mixed freights look great. To me, mixed freights look more natural, more realistic, and, uh, and they have a lot of personality. And so I've used mixed freights as the, uh, as the backbone of the freight hauling system on my, on my railroad empire, which I'm calling Empire Railroad. And how it works is, is uh, very similar to how the passenger model works, where you just have streetcars and buses bringing passengers to and from the station, filling out your trains, making the trains profitable. I'm essentially doing the same thing with the, the freight trains. I have lines that run from one end of the map to the other with uh, these mixed freights just ping-ponging back and forth on these lines, stopping at every freight station in every city. Picking up freight, dropping off freight, dropping off whatever the city needs and, and uh, picking up whatever the, the city has to offer. And then I use trucks, trains, and I could even use ships to bring goods to and from the station to keep the station supplied and keep these freight trains filled out. All right, so as a relatively quick example of these mixed freights in action, I thought we would ride along to see how goods are made. But first of all, I built uh, Empire Railroad on a large map with a 1 to 3 ratio. The start year is 1850, and currently it's 1925. I'm playing on easy mode because we're on a large system early on with big old freight yards and museum trains and water tanks and whatnot. I'm using just about all the North American mods that are relevant to the time period, but I'm not using the no cost mod because I feel that the economy is a big part of the fun. You know, you gotta, gotta make a profit. I use the sunrise mod that you see here to determine east and west, but the accuracy of that is uh, a little questionable since uh, when you turn the mod off, the default sun is to the north, which is incorrect for the northern hemisphere. So that mod might work better as a sunset mod, maybe? Empire Railroad has three transcontinental main lines. Line 1, shown here in red, runs along the southern edge of the map, as was determined by the uh, sunrise mod you just saw, connecting eight cities. Each city has a freight station currently served by 13 freight trains and passenger stations served by 14 passenger trains. So here is the beautiful city of Mogolopolis. Uh, its freight station is at the bottom of the frame with a branch line extending to the north to an oil drilling facility. And then a, uh, a local freight train shuttles back and forth, picking up crude oil from the drilling facility and bringing it to the mainline freight station. The local Mogolopolis freight, local Mogolopolis? The local Mogolopolis Whoa, boy, I tried saying that three times. Uh, the local unloads our crude oil for an eastbound mainline freight to pick up. In this case, line one freight number six will load the crude oil along with some stone from a nearby quarry. It will then continue on its way with our crude, which is in those tank cars there, making all of its stops, eventually arriving at Empire which is the terminus for all the uh, transcontinental lines. Uh, line one, freight number six, will unload pretty much all of its cargo. It'll load our crude oil onto the far right platform right there. And uh, just in time for, a, uh, for the Empire Oil local to show up. Uh, let me see, number six is loading fuel and refined oil and goods turns on a invisible Y and is now is now a westbound train the uh, Empire local oil local is uh, is loading our oil which it will hustle over to the nearby refinery to be brewed into fuel and refined oil and then loaded back onto the Empire local oil freight which will hustle it back to the Empire Mainline Freight Station. 
here, it will deliver it between all the different various lines. Uh, the line one freight train to the left, far left there. And uh, there's some delivery trucks to the left of the train station. And then there's a line two freight train arriving on the center track, which will get some of this. Oh, and there's the uh, Empire Local Goods Freight. This is going to unload some plastic, or I mean, no goods. It'll, it'll unload goods. It'll pick up plastic and some cut lumber and head back. We should probably, since our uh, since our refined oil is on Line 1 Freight 9, we should jump onto that train. Oh, look at that. How's that for some busy railroad action? Oh, where were we? Oh, Line 1 Freight 9, our refined oil, westbound. All right, after making a couple of stops, we are now arriving at the southern city of Nuola. Here, number nine is going to unload that uh, quarried stone there, and the gondola is behind it. Anytime now. There we go. And then we're gonna fill those with some grain without cleaning the gondolas out first. And we are rolling west once again with our refined oil and some grain among other freight. About halfway across the map is the city of Longhorn. And uh, here, line one freight number nine will drop off among its other freight, our refined oil and grain to be loaded on the local. And then number nine will pick up some logs and continue its journey west without us because uh, we're gonna catch the local with our with our oil and grain. Here comes the Longhorn local now to pick up our refined oil and grain to hustle it over to the plastics factory where our refined oil and grain will be developed into Legos. And look at that supply of oil. We seem to have a, uh, a glut here. I think there's a problem with our plastic supply line. I'm gonna have to look into that. All right, so the Longhorn Lego local, Lego local, is arriving at the mainline freight station with our plastic to load onto line one freights. See, it's Legos. There's a picture of Lego right there on the uh, container. Anyway, so there is our Lego plastic stuff in the center there with eastbound line one freight number 10 arriving to pick it up along with some logs. And before you know it, we are rocketing eastward faster than a speeding locomotive. Or as fast as a speed, speeding locomotive. Actually, exactly the speed of a speeding locomotive. Anyway, our plastic and logs are heading eastward. Here we are back in the city of Dynamo. The sun is up now. Um, it's hard to tell by the shadows which way, the, I think the sun is to our right, which would, if we're looking west, then the sun is to the north, right? Yeah, so that, I think that's a sunset mod. Anyway, line one freight 10, pulling in, uh, million dollar run there, it's unloading, uh, grain, it's unloading cattle, it's unloading goods. Uh, let's see. And we are picking up. We're picking up bread or food. We're picking. We're picking up. Oh, we're not picking up any cut lumber. We need cut lumber. Oh, here comes the cut lumber. The lumber train is now. Lumber locals rolling in. It's not going to make our train. I don't think we're not going to make it. No. Now we're going to. I'm. 
Uh, it's okay. I'm sure that the uh, goods factory has a uh, supply of lumber on hand. So we'll just continue with our plastic. And next stop is uh, end of the line, Empire. All right, rolling into Empire with our plastic. Uh, we've, we've been here before. Uh, not much more to say about it. We're dropping off, uh, dropping off all kinds of stuff, except for pet lumber. <laughs> Normally you would have pet lumber, but it's not, I don't have pet lumber this time. And, uh, just waiting for the Empire Goods logo. All right, so here comes the Empire Goods local. And uh, let me see, line one train 10 is now uh, westbound. It's pulling out. The uh, Empire Goods Local is dropping off goods. And it's saying, hey, where's, where's my cut lumber? You know, we have cut lumber for me. Where's that? But we do have a lot of plastic. So it's got our plastic. It's got our plastic and it's hustling it over to the remote location, the secret location of the goods factory. Finally, the Empire Local delivers our plastic to the Mexican security prison. I mean, goods factory to be made into goods. All right, well, I see some cut lumber to the, to the right there. Our train is picking up goods to the left there so there's goods there's goods good good there's goods there's goods good the good train carrying the goods carrying the goods like a good goods train should carrying the goods arriving empire freight station with the goods after only 21 months we took delivery of the crude oil November 15, 1925, and we are just now delivering the finished goods August 10th, 1927. So, so, uh, so there you go. Mixed freights in action. Give it a go. It's, it's, uh, it's fun to set up. As the sun sets slowly in the west, or rises in the east. I don't know. The jury's still out on that one. We bid a fond farewell to all the friends we've made, the trains we've rode, the goods we delivered, the cut lumber we didn't deliver, and apparently logs as well. And with a touch of melancholy, we look forward to the time when we can all be together again, especially if we get a lot of likes. If not, well then, just forget the whole thing. Are those contrails in the sky on the upper right there? Those are contrails. Did they have contrails in, uh, in the 1920s? I don't think they did. It's like a UFO or something. Oh man, I'm out of here. It's good. It's all good.